Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins Tutorial for Beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send email notifications using Jenkins. So first of all, in order to send email notifications using Jenkins, you need to know the SMTP server details of your email provider, which you want to use in your Jenkins. So this you can easily find on internet. You just need to search for SMTP server list and you will be able to uh, find all the informations about the SMTP server on one of uh, the websites like this. So let's say I want to use the Gmail as my email provider to send the notifications. So you can see SMTP server details of Gmail is given here. So this information I'm going to use in order to configure the email notification in Jenkins. So I'm going to go to my Jenkins homepage and then I'm going to go to uh, manage Jenkins and inside this configure system uh, window, you will be able to find the email notification setting at the very bottom. So you will be able to uh, see uh, this section which says email notification and just above this section, you will be able to uh, see uh, this section also, which is extended email notification. So this extended email notification is a plugin which you have already installed at the installation of your Jenkins. So if you have chosen install suggested plugins, then this plugin will be installed in your Jenkins and you will be able to see this option. But for now, I'm going to use the default option, which is the email notification option, which is at the very bottom. So here you will uh, be able to uh, see uh, this option which says SMTP server. So SMTP server for uh, Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. So I'm going to just uh, give this uh, information here. And then uh, you just need to give uh, the default user email suffix. The default email user suffix of Gmail is at the rate gmail.com. And then you will be able to see uh, this advanced setting button. You just need to click it and then just check this checkbox, which says use SMTP authentication. And now you just need to give your username and password. Username is your email address from which you want to send your emails. So I will give my Gmail address here. So it can be anything, for example, example at the rate gmail.com. And then you need to give the password of that email address. So I'm going to give the password of that email address. And then I'm going to just check this checkbox, which says use SSL and the SMTP port. Let's see what is the SMTP port for that. So SMTP port for uh, this Gmail server is 465 so i'm going to use uh, this port here and then you will be able to see uh, this section which says reply to i'm going to leave this as blank and you can also test your configuration for your email by sending a test email to any address so here in the test email recipient you just need to give the email address of the recipient so i'm going to give here the recipient email address and then I'm going to just press on this button, which says test configuration. And then it's going to send this email. So you can see this message, which says email was successfully sent. Now, in some cases, you may also encounter some errors, which can be resolved by just going to your email account by turning on an option, which is called allow less secure apps. So you will be able to see uh, this kind of option and you just need to turn it on and you will be able to send emails from your Gmail account to any other email. So once you have done the email notification configurations and you have tested your configurations, you can just save your configurations. And once your configuration is saved, you can just go to uh, the Jenkins job in which you want to use this email notification. So I'm going to just uh, use uh, this Jenkins job. It says uh, hello world build. And then I'm going to go to the configuration of uh, this job. And then I will scroll down and I will go to 
the section which is called post build actions and then when I just uh, click on this uh, list I will be able to see uh, two options related to email notification one is editable email notification this is a plugin so we haven't uh, configured this plugin yet so we will use this option which is email notification we have done the configuration for this op so just use this option which says email notification and then you will be able to see this kind of uh, option for recipients so you can uh, just uh, give the email address to which you want to send an email when your build fails and you can see this is the option which is enabled by default which says send email for every unstable build that means when your build is failed then this email will be sent so i'm going to just save uh, this uh, configuration and let me uh, just break the configuration also so my jenkins job will fail so right now uh, let's say uh, this build is java c hello world dot java i'm going to just uh, change the name of uh, this file which doesn't even exist so this build will fail and then email notification will be sent so i'm going to just click on build now and you can see uh, the build has been started i'm going to go inside this build and console output and you can see uh, this build is failed and after this uh, java c command is failed you will be able to see this option which says sending email to whatever email you have used and when you go to your uh, gmail uh, account you will be able to see this kind of uh, email and then uh, you will be able to find more details in this text here about your jenkins so this is one way of sending email notifications using jenkins the more advanced way can be uh, by installing some plugin related to uh, email notifications so you can uh, once again go to manage jenkins and we have uh, already installed a plugin at the time of installation which is email editable email notification right so i'm going to just scroll down where i will find editable email notification which is uh, this option this one and here also you can uh, give the same uh, options for example for smtp you will be able to give uh, smtp.gmail.com and then default uh, user uh, suffix is the same at the rate uh, gmail.com and then in the advanced setting you will have the same type of settings for example this is your email address from which you want to send an email and then this uh, is your uh, password for your email and then this is the advanced email uh, properties which i will leave as default and then i will choose uh, use ssl checkbox and then in the smtp port i will just use uh, 465 and uh, you can uh, do some more settings here one thing you can do here is you can add the default recipients here whatever recipients you want to use for your email so i'm going to add one recipient which i have also used in the last section and then i'm going to save this configuration and once my configuration is saved i can once again go to let's say i'm going to go to the next jenkins job now and then i'm going to go to the configuration of this jenkins job and then in the post build actions this time i will use this option which says editable email notification so just use this option and then you will be able to find all these fancy options which you can uh, change at any time important for us is uh, for example project recipient list here so by default it's uh, re default recipients you can uh, give any other email address here and if you want to know more here you will be able to uh, find uh, more details here so it says uh, you just need to add a cc colon here or bcc colon here so i'm going to uh, add that cc and then colon and then the email address and then i will scroll down and in the advanced sec setting you will be able to find more settings so you can see trigger is failure and uh, 
the email will go to the developers so we haven't uh, added any developer email we have we have added the recipient email so i'm going to use this recipient email list and i'm going to remove the developers from here and then i'm going to just save this configuration and once your uh, jenkins build will fail it will send the email to the recipient list so in this way you can configure your jenkins to send email notifications i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now